Hello and welcome. Let's do this problem together. But first, it's important that you try it on your own. Let's read the question. It says, which equation does not represent a linear function? Just remember that linear function is a way of saying a linear equation. Or an equation that when you graph it forms a line. Or, maybe even better, to focus on the fact that linear functions have a constant rate of change. So let me jump to the answer. The answer is D. Now, <laughs> I might have ruined it there, but what I want to show to you is that we can show this is nonlinear, and then you can use this strategy for any type of equation. And in fact, you should use it on A, B, and C to verify that they are linear. So what I would do is make a table, x and y. In this case, for D, y equals 2x squared plus 3x. And what I would do is choose a couple of x's, 0, 1, and 2, and maybe maybe 3. And we'll plug in x, so y is equal to 2 times 0, which is 0, plus 3 times 0, which is 0. So when x is 0, y is 0. That's our first point, 0, 0. When I plug in 1 for x, we get 2 times 1 squared, that's 2 times 1, 2, plus 3 times 1, 3, equals 5. So, so far, 0, 5. Oh, excuse me, 1, 5. Now, what am I looking for? I'm looking for that constant rate of change. What's that? Well, here um, we've gone up 5 on the y-axis and up 1 on the x-axis. So, so far, our rate of change, usually called slope or m, is 5 over 1, or 5 for every 1. So here, when I increase x by 1 again, what should happen for it to be linear? Well, what should happen is that the input should go up, the output should go up again by 5. We're increasing our inputs, that's our x's, by 1 each time. If it's linear, if it's constant, every time we do that, the output goes up by 5. But lo and behold, it does not happen, right? y equals 2 times x squared, in this case 4, 2 times 2 is 4, plus 3 times 2, which is 6, so 8 plus 6, right, is 14. So our next point, already we've proven it's not linear because we have 2, 14. And we've gone up 1 again on our x, right, plus 1, but oh no, we've gone up 9 on the y-axis, so it's not constant. Try this. We, 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 I'm not even going to try 3 because we know it's not linear, but if you try this for all the other ones, you'll see that they are linear. They have constant rates of change. So whatever you're thrown in these kind of problems, you can just plug in x values to see how it's growing. If it's growing at a constant rate, it's probably linear. If it's not growing at a constant rate, you know it for sure it's not linear. All right, thanks.